Hello everyone and welcome back to Comic Vantage. So today we have something that I haven't done in a while and that is a product review. Yes, I have this nifty nifty thing that I want to check out. So, a uh, little backstory. A gentleman named Victor contacted me from a company called Gator Guards. Uh, he saw a couple of my other reviewed videos and he asked if I was interested in reviewing a Gator Guard. So I went and I, you know, I did my due diligence and I checked out his website and I'm like, you know what? I think this is a product I want to check out. So I contacted him. He's like, yeah, I'm totally interested. So he shot one over to me. So uh, full disclosure, this actually was a freebie, uh, but this will be a completely unbiased review nonetheless. So uh, let me start opening it and let me start giving you a little backstory here of why I was so anxious to get a hold of this thing. So back in the 90s, uh, there was this awesome, awesome comic book supply company called Ultra Pro. Now they are still around, but in a much smaller capacity than what they used to be. I think they focus more now on like sporting, uh, sports card memorabilia and things like that. Now Ultra Pro, they, wow, they did everything, you know, but they were the big, big name in, uh, in, uh, uh, comic book bags and boards. Everybody used Ultra Pro. Wherever you went, it was always Ultra Pro stuff. You know, we had Ultra Pro sleeves for our binders. I used to keep comic books in binders, believe it or not. You know, they had Ultra Pro Mylars and all kinds of stuff. All of the uh, Wizard one-half comic books that you would mail away for were coming in Ultra Pro. That's because Wizard ended up buying the company. One of the things Ultra Pro put out is what they called their turtle shell. And this was this awesome, awesome thick acrylic case that would screw down and uh, they were stackable and they were gorgeous man they protected your comics essentially it was slabbing your book before slabs were a thing uh, they no longer produce these but they do make this new one that has a hinge and it's magnets but i don't know it looks a little a little too uh not trustworthy and i think this i'm really excited might be an actual Honest to goodness, replacement for that. That's why I was so excited. I've been looking for something like this for a long time. All right, so I'm just going to take into this thing. And let me show you what we got here for the Gator Guard. Now, the Gator Guard is... Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, I am very, very excited. Constructed for minimum element exposure, UV filtering acrylic. GatorGuardComics.com. Wow, this thing feels awesome. Man, I cannot wait to tear into this. Uh, let's see, we got two pieces. Oh, and he, actually, both of them are protected nicely with a shrink wrap. Hey, you left a little hand handwritten note. Lewis, look forward to hearing from you. Victor, awesome. Really appreciate that. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now, some of you out there might be wondering, you know, why would you use something like this and not get your book slapped? Well, I mean, there are a lot of people that I know, not a lot, but there are some people I know, oh, God, that actually, you know, they have books that really aren't, you know, some people have anxiety sometimes for sending books away. Look at that. Beautiful. You can't even... There it is. Look at that. Oh, I got it backwards there. That is so cool. That's in the back of the case. Man. Yeah, I'm really digging this thing already. You know, I know some people that actually have anxiety for sending their books off to get slabbed. This is a great alternative. Uh, or, you know, if you have a book... Like, for me, I have books that have sentimental value. And uh, they're not really worth sending off to get slapped. And it's like these. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Okay, as you can tell, I'm actually very, very excited. So far, first impressions, this thing is by far surpassing my expectations. Now, this is one of the things, they don't even talk about this, but I noticed right away. Now, if you look in the corners, see that little divot in there? 
That's to make sure your comic books don't get blunted while they're in this case if they happen to move around. The corner will go in there instead of getting shoved in and then blunted around it. Now, that's an awesome little piece. They don't even talk about that, but I just know things. <laughs> you got the little Gator Guard logo right here on the bottom as well. I love this border around it. Now, this border is actually hollow. Like, you can fill this in with some paint or something and kind of, uh, you know, customize this yourself. Now, one of the things they do... They customize your screw color. Look at that. I asked for red. He sent both, red and black. Now they have about a bajillion different colors we will go over later, uh, as well as price. Right now, I'm just going over the features of this and seeing how it looks and how seriously pleasantly surprised I am right now. Oh, I don't... Oh, here we go. I got my knife. Pachoo. Always carry a pocket knife. All right, Look at that nice little aluminum screws. Now we do have a front and a back, which is different from the old Ultra Pro ones. The old Ultra Pro ones were uh, brass. They were brass screws. They were self-tapping and they would actually screw directly uh, through the front and into the back of the acrylic. So you can see where the plastic would wear out over time. This won't do that. So that's awesome. All right, now what book do I have picked out to put into our new Gator Guard case. I have Pachow, look at that, a Lucio Perillo variant of Harley Quinn, Villain of the Year, number one, Virgin variant. This book is awesome. This is actually not mine. This is the first comic book my wife asked me to buy for her. So I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Maybe it's the first of many, who knows. Uh, and I figure what better way to protect it for than to stick it in this Gator Guard case when it came in. All right, so we have our well in the front. So our book will go in there. I'm assuming it goes face down because we have the big logo on this one, which I'm assuming will go on the back. All right, now we do have pieces of acrylic on here. A little bit off. There are little notches which will fit perfectly into these. There we go. Line up our corners. Wow, that fits so snug. All right, and now we will begin putting our screws in. Now I figure since this is Harley Quinn, it'd be kind of fun, especially now that I'm seeing both of these colors. We are gonna do red and black, ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Now let's see what kind of fit we actually get when these are screwed down. Because like I said, the old Ultra Pro ones actually screwed into the plastic. So man, you can get a snug, snug, snug fit. I mean, that plastic, once it was down, the acrylic, it didn't come up. It didn't move. It didn't wiggle. All right, so let's do this. Which way do we want to go here? Put our little in the back there. Now the screw size, normal, it's a flathead screwdriver. And man, this thing is huge. You can actually probably use a nickel or a dime if you don't have a screwdriver handy. I actually happen to have one handy. Because like I said, I did my homework, so I knew what I was expecting. You're going to want to be gentle, though, apparently, because these feel like aluminum. If you put a little too much torque on them, you will scrape it a little bit. It's going to show the aluminum underneath. So, so far, actually, that's the only complaint I have. Other than that, man, these things are beautiful. I guess you could actually put these backwards. So the screw side is back here. You know what, let's do that so that way it's more aesthetically pleasing. If you do get any scratches on your screws, it will go in the other direction. Yay! <laughs> and you won't see them. All right, come on, I'm dropping my crap here. Do, 
do do. And yes, I am going to make you sit here and wait for me while I do this. No creative editing this time. Make sure our book is nice and center in there. Wow, this thing is cool. Man, I don't know how many times I'm actually going to say that because this thing is neat. Oh, I'm so happy right now. See that? I slipped. But now this is going to be on the back end. Look at that. All right. Now when I brought it back together, I can take this one out. That way I'm not losing stuff. Yeah, so anyway, I recommend putting these on with the screw side on the back. So that way you don't, especially if you're using color. I guess if you're using the aluminum ones, you don't got to worry about that. You know, the unfinished, that is. I can't even tell you how thick this thing is. Maybe I'll grab a, a ruler and actually measure it. Come on, you. Am I putting this in right? There we go. All right, and now for our black ones. together make sure we have final tightening on all the screws and blam there we are look at that wow okay this is awesome nothing is going to hurt that book man there we go look how thick that thing is it's like the size of an actual you know cgc slab whoo Very unobtrusive Gator Guard logo. We're down here on the bottom. Gator Guard back here. Also very unobtrusive. I love the colors. The screws look great. Man, the thing, I mean, it, this feels solid. And that is not coming apart anytime soon. Wow, that is amazing. All right, extremely, extremely happy. So, now... stuff back together here. I actually have an extra set of screws. Let us talk price. And for that, I'm actually going to rough cut away from here and go hop on over to the website. All right, so here I am at the Gator Guard Comics website. This is GatorGuardComics.com. Now, I got to tell you guys, this is the one actual complaint I have and it has nothing to do with the case itself the case I absolutely adore and that is this website is very very busy and a little hard to navigate it actually took me a while to find out where I was going as I was traveling through here yeah it's kind of a neat website here they have you know their own little gator dude right here who's swinging through the air with the greatest of ease a la spider-man all right so here we have product info about us our shop everything else the easiest way though to get to the cart is to actually right here at the top see this little flaming cart logo there we go that's going to take us to their store all right so what do we got here here's what they have so we have two packs they sell these gator guards in two packs or six packs and you can get them in all different kinds of color screws so uh the two packs we can get them with black screws blue screws green screws orange red silver 36 dollars for a two pack 
except for the green. The green is $39 for a two pack. But let's just say for the sake of argument here, the $36, that's 18 bucks a piece for the two pack. That is pretty much uh, uh, on par with you know the other slab it yourself kits out there or even getting a book CGC yourself. So these are very, very reasonably priced. If you come down here to the six pack, now you're looking at $16 a piece. And of course, like I did with mine with the two different color screws, you can purchase additional screws and you get a four pack. It looks like, doesn't say, I'm gonna assume it's a four pack. Don't shoot me if it's not Victor. Um, and it's $3. So that's actually not bad at all. All in all, this is a great, great deal. I am definitely going to order more uh, for myself. I love these. These are absolutely amazing. Uh, just now, I, I took the, uh, the book into my wife, and she's like, oh my god, this is so cool. I'm like, yeah, I know. This is amazing. Uh, and the first thing she said, though, was, how do we hang this up? Uh, and the first thing that popped my mind is, mirror brackets for hanging up mirrors on a wall. Those things would just mount this like crazy and it would look amazing hanging on a wall. Just put three or four of them up, you know, at least one or, one or two at the top, two at the bottom. Man, you're going to have a great looking display hanging on the wall. Anyway, guys, that's my review. It's a huge, 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 huge thumbs up for me. I am definitely going to go and buy some more of these because, wow, they're so cool. I got so many books. Like I said, I've been looking for a product like this for several years now. Finally found one that's going to work for me. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys like this too, I really, really, I can't recommend it enough. It is so neat. Wait until you have one in your hand and you feel the weight of that thing. You're going to be like, holy crap, you were right. Um, so, anyway, that's that's uh, that's my review. Uh, thank you to everyone that watched. I hope you like this kind of stuff. It was a fun to make. Uh, thank you, Victor, for sending me the Gator Guard. It was an absolutely amazing case and uh, totally worth it. And to my patrons, guys, thank you so much. You're awesome, awesome, awesome. Your names are scrolling up the screen right now. I'm saying thank you to all of you. And uh, to everyone else, to my subscribers, thank you for watching. To If you're not subscribed yet, hit the little CV down in the corner and a little bell up top. let you know I have the cool stuff coming out, including more product reviews. So I hope to start getting back into YouTube a lot more. I've been kind of slacking on it. So this was fun. Like always, guys, thank you for watching and take it easy.